Welcome back folks. This is lesson 69 and uh, we, we did a, a sort of a windmill for the, the, in the evening last, the last lesson on 68 and this is something entirely different. This is a, a place called Aesgarth Falls and this is in a, a place called North Yorkshire and uh, it, just a section of it, not, not all of it, just a little bit. And the colours we're going to use are, the usual colours I use is the raw sienna, uh, ultramarine, ultramarine burnt umber, and a weak, a weak mix of alizarin crimson. So your colours are on screen, so I'll, I'll get rid of those now, so you've seen them, and we'll have a look at the picture. Right, here's the picture. There's a, a sort of a, a, a bank here, the bank there, and a bank at this side. What I mean, a bank is is is, is shrubs and woodland and, and and edge of the edge of the. This is this is the uh, part of the Aesgarth Falls. There's there's one section falling down down into into a little piece of uh, uh, river down to there, and then this next falls comes down into this this bigger portion down here. Uh, we'll, we'll see how we go anyway. We better start at the top and work down, don't we? So the first thing I've got to do. It's, it's put a bit of sky in. It's not, it's not a sky picture, but, but we'll, we'll, we'll put one in anyway. This is just clean water, randomly. Not all over. And we'll have a touch of sunshine here. That's some sienna, or raw sienna, as you'd call it, or oak, or whatever you're using. And then we'll have some a bit of blue sky. Be a nice, make it a nice day, shall we? I think we'll have the light come from the uh, from the right. I think. Yeah, from the right, that'll do. Now, I'm coming down, I'm, before I'm putting anything in the top, I'm going to use some of this weak alizarin crimson across this, this base of the sky. Now, before I, I'll put a bit of, bit of cloud cloud in this and see the, the the balance of the picture we can put it to our focal point say about there just down this corner a few clouds and we're all the britain if you like close the corners down see how we go Lift out some of that water at the bottom, or the, the paint, you should say. Running down. I don't want to sort of this this thing to be, be running down like rain, so I want to take some of it out. It's too too rainy. I'll give you a bit of a cloud formation. Right now we said we, the the uh, the light is coming from the right, isn't it? So what you would get is is a cloud shadow on the as it's coming down there, cloud shadow under the left of the cloud itself. So you're going to get some cloud shadow under there. This will form your cloud. Just form it as you see it, see the odd cloud and that'll leave you more a bit more of a rolled up sky. But 
don't want to get too fussy on this. Soften it in a little bit. Touch more down here. And of course the light's coming from the right, isn't it? So I'd say we keep those shadows under, under this, these, these clouds themselves. That'll do it all, so I'm starting to fiddle. I'm not doing that. Still a little bit damp there, and that, that, that'll do fine, because I want to put in the background there some uh, distant distant trees. So use some of this, uh, this colour we've got here. I'll pinch a bit of that. This is the French Ultramine and Burnt Umber, but I'll pinch a touch of that uh, alizarin to get a bit of get a bit of depth. This is the colour I want. Yeah, let's let's put some in the background here. Distant bank of trees, if you like. Then before it dries, I want to put some some greenery in front of it. They're not too strong, so we'll, we'll, I think the first thing we'll do we'll start off with uh, put a bit, bit bit more blue in there first. Let's see how we go with that. Yeah, a bit more blue. I'll put some blue into there. Still keeps it, makes it distant, doesn't it? It's another bank of trees there. At the top of the top of the. The rip. Aysgarth Falls is a beautiful place, by the way. It's uh, it, it runs. I don't know what river it is. That it runs right down into the uh, through the village of Aysgarth, and it, it's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful, and and there's there's certain levels of, of waterfalls as you, as you as you go down there. Well worth the trip if you're around that area. Right, let's have a bit of greenery on top of this, shall we? So I want a touch of. Cadmine yellow, and a touch of that uh, French ultra, I think a touch of French ultra in there. Just like this and distant greens. Let's put some distant green to this. I'm trying to keep it in the background, not to. I want it too close. Sometimes there'll be, there'll be biggish ones like that. And the, the the other one will, will filter through it. This is all spear carriers, this folks. This is background stuff, so it's not important. But it is, but it isn't. You know what I mean? I'll a little bit of this there. Yeah, I think that, that'll, that'll do for now. I don't want to start doing shadows and things down that because they will get bogged down on the background. I don't want that. Right. That's given us sort of, it's going to give us a, a pinky layer, a blue layer, and now a green layer. So we've got three layers on that on that bank of trees there. <coughs> right, and of course, the, the position we're standing, we, we, if you talk about eye levels of flat, our eye level is lower down, so therefore you won't see the actual river above the waterfall there, because it's above your eye level. You just not see it. But water, trust me, it's coming over there, and then building up into a little bit here, and then falling again on this, and then down to the final pool at the bottom, before it goes further on down the river. 
But that, that's the background started. Let's see, put a bit, something a bit more, a bit more close on that. I might put an, another bit of a tree just here. Greenery in there, just a touch more. And what we've done by that is we've we've made this this tree or bush bushes if you like. We've made these bushes in front of them, you see, because it's that little bit stronger. That's what it's all about. So we create another depth. So we're okay there, folks, we're keeping going. And in the bottom of those trees, because the light is coming from the right, isn't it? We're gonna want some dark, dark bits in there just to, to where the, the sun doesn't catch it, if you like. So there'll be, there'll be some dark bits down here, you see. Perhaps some of the in the base of these trees, or bushes. Light from the right, don't forget. That's, that's all right there. I'm bringing it forward, I'm going to bring this forward. This is this is a sort of a, a grassy area here, or not, rough grass. It's not not uh, a lawn or anything like that. This is the edge of the edge of the bank there, and there's one that side. So we'll, we'll bring them two together first. Let's have a, a, a touch of the cadmium yellow again. I think we'll have some. Have some winds of blue in this one. Touch your winds blue red shade. Oh, we sort of a, a grassy area coming down here. Of course, the strength of that green is uh, is making it making it closer than the the one behind. You can see the one behind, can't you? That one there. We know that's in the distance now, but this is this is a green touchy bank here, like this. And that's that's the the, the grass on the top layer of the waterfall. So we've got another depth, another layer, one, two, three, four, five, off we go. And we'll do the other sides very very similar. I've mixed enough paint, I'll have to mix a bit more. Which isn't a bad thing sometimes because sometimes you can get a different level of different type of green and you don't want them too stereotype. Let's do this bank here, and this bank comes down here like this, look. Down to the water's edge. Here again, it's not a lawn. Keep we're coming a bit forward, further forward now. Uh, I'll probably put a bit of bit of dark on this just to, just to some down in this bottom trench here. Directional lines, if you like to. So you know, it's, it's leading the eye down to the where the where the the, the river is. 
I'm going to try and make a, a, a focal point. Uh, probably, ooh, I might put it just here. It's, it's, it's a pretty balanced the picture just now, but but I'll, I'll put something in to sort of put as a, as a focal point. We should draw the eye to that, then you look at your painting afterwards. Right. That's that. Now we'll, we'll have a look at these banks here, bring them further forward again. Strengthen the green. See if we've got the right strength there. Just a touch of blue there. All I'm doing is mixing the two, the Camille Yellow and the the winds of a red here together to get m m get myself the right kind of green. Because I've said before, I haven't got a green in my palette, so I have to mix them. And the beauty of that is, uh, they're all different, which is nice. Let's get these foreground grasses in now, shall we? Oh, that's, that's a bit stronger than that one behind it, you see. And it can go up and over there like that. Break, break the line. And this will tumble over the, the water's edge in that. Same on the other side. And you can see each layer has brought it further towards us. Much closer because it's, it's, it's a different green. Or a stronger green. Tumble down this side here. Darks in there. Well, I, I do believe in having darks, you know, because it it keeps these things alive. It does. This is the the, the colour we use with the French ultramarine and the burnt umber. Darken some of these these bits under here, which which goes underneath. And this also helps to bring it towards us again. I do like to break that line at the top there with a bit more. I just mix a bit more uh, of this greenery stuff to sort of break that break that line a little bit up there. This sort of thing, you know, so the grass is 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 coming up there. It's close enough to give give a bit of a bit of uh, detail. Same with this side as well. I said it wasn't, it's not alone, so we, we're going to get all the scrubby bits and stuff like that in. Leave that for now while I start fiddling. Right, I'm going to get a colour for the water now. It'll reflect what's up above it, won't it? So I think we'll start with some, uh, some of this ultramarine now and there. Get some of that water colour. Bit, bit too pretty it is that. I'll put some of that blue into it. This is Windsor Red Shade into it. That's better, that's better colour. Perhaps a touch of burnt umber into it. Just to 
kill that, that uh, pretty prettiness of it. You're too pretty. That's right, let's see where we're going with this now. Right, this is a top deck. So it's, it's, it starts up here like this. And what you're going to get is, is it's too wet that. You're going to get to sort of this sort of stuff. The river's flowing this way, you see, and it's and it's tumbling over the over the edge of that. Over the almost first over first waterfall. Of course, you get you get dark, which is rather than darker sections of it. Come down here. Keep it. You just you're down below, and you can see it coming toppling, toppling over the edge of that. This this uh, where, the, where the land is actually it just is shaped by by generations, and uh, it, it it's, it's flowing over the top. The dark down there. This is I'm using this is, this is the ultramarine and burnt umber just to give some dark areas in this flow of water. Right down to the bottom one. Oh, uh, here what I should, should put in first is uh, there, there's, a, there's a series of rocks here which. Uh, which I better put in. Let's just drop them in these rocks. It's the formation of the rock, of course, and some some get sticky up bits. Of course, the water's still got to go round them, hasn't it? There's one across here as well. Right, where's the light coming from, folks? It's top right, isn't it? So I want something dark on this. So let's darken that side. The rocks will be dark, won't they, there? Because it's, it's not getting the sun. And let's fill it, let's do the, the bottom, bottom fall now, shall we? So it'll automatically come start flowing down here like this. Leave some white bits. And this will come round that, that rock as it flows in. Around that rock as it comes across here like this. Of 
got to paint it a bit stronger the front here because it's it's in front of that one isn't it You can like a torrent, and it's of course it's, it's in the bottom here. It won't be a, a flat bit, will it? It'll it'll, it'll be sort of uh, you'll get movement and stuff like that. Put a dark into there. Send it around them rocks there. So across it. As we come down the bottom there, what, what we need to do is to lift out some of that colour because it'll 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 foam just here, won't it? Put some of the brown kind of that many brushes in my hand. You'll get this sort of, it hits the bottom water and, and there's a sort of a, an area of sort of mist and what have you in the bottom. Lift out the colour. Start putting some water in the in the in the river at the bottom, down here. You get all sorts of swirls around this piece, because it's that's that's the water just dropping in it, isn't it? Little bit eddies and all sorts in it, just to. it comes So there's so much turbulence down here, isn't there? So you see white, white bits all over it. I'll have this and I'll put a bit of uh, burnt umber into this here now to I want to darken that that colour of the the water as it's as it's coming down here. Dark it down here. As 
it's important to get that, 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 that movement in the bottom of the bottom of the, the water there. Right, greenery, greenery. So you've got the right green here to this foreground. Should be alright. A nice rich green. Over there, it's a bit small, so number six. I should be, I, you know, like using, I like using the big one, you know, but uh, somehow but this has dropped in my hand, so I've got to finish it off. I want some 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 shrubbery in there. It's, it's too. It's, it's not a bowling green. It's it's dark stuff for some grass. That's still using the greens, of course. It's going to be. It's going to have some more winds of blue in there to to darken it down. Going to get sort of this this sort of stuff. Rough grass. It's nice when it overlaps the water's edge as well, like that. Touch more green around there, as you said. It's a bit small, this brush to, to do that with. How's that number six? That'll do better for that. Just to make this rough ground. Link that roughness there to this. Slip some of this dark. This is the dark stuff. I'll put some dark stuff at the bottom here. Rigger. Got a tree coming up here like this. Couple this side, I think. I don't want two. It looked like book ends there. I don't like that. So we're going to put another tree in there. I think we'll have another tree just perhaps just here. That'd be nice, yeah. There was a bit of a tree that's, that's leaning. I'll 
piece. They're, they're a bit, bit more balanced now. I don't like, as I say, I don't like two, I like a, a three or a five or something like that. Leaves. I think cadmium yellow would be that. I should need leaves. With some Windsor blue. Red shade in there. So what we've got there. That'd be nice. Now this is, uh, I'm using the side of the brush on this folks, just to, and of course I'm right hand so I'm going to put it this way. So we're going to have to have some branches on these, uh, some leaves on them aren't we? dark areas on this because it's the, the light from the right isn't it so we're going to get some shade areas on these on these leaves aren't we Do the silver one here. So I've got, I'm mixing greens differently like this because if the trees are different, they'll have different greens, won't they? So I'm mixing a bit more colour separately, and we should we, we shan't get the same green. I know, I know that because it's uh, that's the way that life goes on this. Now let's try this one. This is the one hanging over the hanging over the the river. Just rolling the brush. That's all I'm doing. I think got enough leaves on it. Right, let's put some darks in there. Nice to know where the sun is, isn't it? it, it you can see, I mean, it's a different tree to that one. Right, now the... Get those branches. Link it up with the Let's put a branch going down here like this. I've, you see, I put uh, leaves in that where well, there's no branches, so I'm, I'm putting that right. Is 
fill in the gaps if you like. I've got to do this tree on this side, haven't we? Change the green again. This is coming out the top of the picture, so it'll probably be green all the way up there. The leaves on this tree, this tree, are brighter than that one. You see, so it's uh, it's showing up more more yellowy. Right, let's put uh, some shade in that as well. See, the underside of this will be shadowy, won't it? Because the light's coming from top right. If you do it, it's still wet, you see, you, you, get this, you get this blend as well. Wet into wet. Break up the mass of that, uh, that green. A bit too blue, that's so I've just put up, dipped in the green and taken the heat out of it. Let's get one two loose leaves out there. So let's put some more branches in there to link up that. Some of these weren't where they've got. Well, the sun has just come out, it's better be careful if it doesn't shine on the paper or we're struggling again. I'll do them. I'm starting to fiddle there. Right, now it, it, it needs something. I think what we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll put a, a focal point in now. I think it would be nice if we put a figure in. It's going to, well, I'm stood here. That's right. This, this is this is our third. You see, I'll, this is the. I'll put him, put him about there. That'll, that'll draw the eye to it. 
I'm not happy with this bit here either. I might darken some of that that water a bit more. See, it's all trial and error, this, folks. I'll make it as I go along. Let's see if we can get some darks in there. What was bothering me? It, it, uh, the, the the two the two waterfalls were identical colour. That's crackers because it's one's in front of the other, so it's going to be darker, isn't it? Or stronger in colour, and the, the other one's going to go back with the aerial perspective. Let's darken this one a bit. Keep off that back one. That'll do. Brought it forward. Now, in this figure we're talking about, uh, I think Fred. We'll put Fred in. He's, he's, he's he likes to be in these pictures. Just Fred. Is it dry there? Dry. Because one thing about putting a figure in, of course, it gives you the the height of the waterfall, doesn't it? So if Fred's here about this size, not too big, he just he's a nice lad, but uh, you've got to control him. If Fred's there. Have some dark trousers on. jumping her into the trousers and I didn't want that. Here's the rigger, it's, it's a bit big that. Put my head on. Right, let's put Fred a, I put my fishing rod in. That's it. I'm using a pen here, that's all. So I get the, the get it right. You'll be holding the holding the pole on the rod. It'll, and then the, the line kills over like that, doesn't it? Into the water. I think this rod bit up a bit. Let's see if we can put the other hand in as well. 
supporting it. If his, his other hand's coming across there, across his shoulder. Casting his, his casting his net wide. We'll strengthen that pole a bit because it looks a bit. If you've got anything on the end of that, it it bust. We don't want that, do we? So we'll strengthen that pole a bit there. Then that's him a sturdy pole, a rod, I should say technical terms. Oh, go, go, go there. It's a touch of burn tumble in that, isn't it? It looked a bit a bit bluey. Right. Right, so we're gonna get some shadows. The, the light's from the from here, isn't it? The right. So let's this will get dappled light here, won't it? As it goes across there. Fred will cast a bit of a shadow, I suppose, just across here. You might get some shadow down here. Where the bank is. Right, these, these will be anchored back there. That will come a shadow across there, won't it? Be behind that one. You'll not see that, they'll go over the top of the hill. We'll see some darks down here. Shadowy darks. A bit dark on this side of the. That there's some tumbling over there from these trees. from building all the, the jets and that they're, they're having to go today. I don't know why she really chooses, but uh, they're having to go. These grass are dark. And to be honest with you, I'm, I'm looking for things to do now, and, and and I don't like to do that. So, well, that that folks is is, is our, our lesson for today. This is Aesgarth Falls, part of Aesgarth Falls, with Fred and his fishing rod, and uh, it, it's a, a study in, in greens and blues. So, uh, if you enjoyed that, give us a like and subscribe. And I'll, I'll, I'll see you on lesson 70, number 70. So until then, folks, it's goodbye. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.